so I've asked Nico if he can go around just to show like a typical everyday use um, because realistically this is how you're going to use it you're going to go along the streets also the roads but you know the streets also so he's just going around BGC now and look it's such an easy and fast way of getting around it's getting quite far away from the camera now but that just gives you an idea of how fast this thing can move you around it's really like so much quicker and so much easier than walking now I'm not against walking but in the hot sun you really want to get from A to B as fast as possible now earlier he was doing some really incredible riding but unfortunately because it's rainy he can't really you know go out and show you what we were seeing earlier but it's a great way of getting around and again there's no problem with people on the streets nobody minds it because it's so lightweight it's really a great way of getting around Here he comes. Hi everyone, today I'm here with Nico from Street Wheels and some of you might actually recognize him because he used to be in a band uh, or a group, Street, Street Boys, Boys, right? Yeah, way back. <laughs> so uh, you are the official distributor for Inokim here in the Philippines, is yes, that right? Yes, that's correct. And how long have you been selling these for? Oh, sorry, um, before you tell me that, uh, these are e-scooters, electric scooters, for anyone that doesn't know. A lot of people have been asking me, they've been saying, I like the e-jeepney, I like the e-trike, but how about personal transport options, something I can use myself? So I reached out to Nico and said, you know, let's make a video about what you're doing. So how long have you been selling these for? I've been selling these for about like a year and a half now. A year and a half. One year. And you give a warranty on these, right? A local yes. warranty. So local how warranty. long is the warranty? Six months warranty. Six months, okay. And what kind of price range are we talking about? We've got three different models here. We've got the small one, we've got the big one. This is a beast, basically. Yeah, the beast one. What kind of price range are we looking at for these? For the biggest one, the Quick 3, Inukim Quick 3, this is like 49,000 for the standard battery. Okay. And for the extended battery, it's like 56,000. Okay. For the Inukim Light, the standard battery, it's like 42,000. Okay. And for the upgraded battery, 46,000. Okay, and how and about for this one? one? This is the Mini, is that right? Yeah, Inukim Mini. For the standard battery, uh, 25,000. And for this one, this is the Mini Plus, 30,000. 30,000. And to give you an idea of like how heavy these are, you can pretty much like, you can throw this around and it's really not that heavy. Now, of course, as you get bigger, they get heavier, but it's still manageable. In fact, this one has a strap, right? Yeah. Um, can you show us just like, if you're just going to give you an idea. Mall, because this is one of the big selling like points about these e-scooters is that you can fold them up and then take them in the co coffee shop or in the mall or whatever. Okay. Just carry it around. So you can just carry it around. Now, how much does this weigh? Do you know? This is like uh, around 15 to 17 kilos. Okay, so some smaller uh, people, female or male, might struggle with this. But I think a lot of people won't, like, I'm not exactly big, oh, sorry. But I can, you know, I can carry this thing. Um, sorry, I don't want to break no, this. <laughs> but I'm not exactly, you know, a big guy and I can carry it without much. And if you use the shoulder strap, it's going to be much easier, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, this one, you can just drag it around. Oh, uh, yeah, so this one for any... This is your newest model. Yeah. For anyone who watched um, the video the other day about the Stego e-bike or e-scooter, it had a similar feature where you can just drag it along. Although, of course, this one is a lot more lightweight. Okay. Um, so let's start with the mini one. We'll go through the specs and we'll go through each one. So sure. what can you tell me about this? What's the, these are all using lithium ion battery. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. And what's the range of this? Like how far can this little one take me, the Mini? 15 to 20 kilometers, the range. And okay. the speed, the maximum speed, 20 kilometers per hour. 20 That's kilometers per hour. And how long does it take to charge? Three to four hours. Three to four for hours. For a full charge. And this one has a solid rear tire, but a pneumatic front tire, is that exactly. right? Exactly, yeah. So that's basically going to give you a smoother ride when you're going along. Yeah. And we tested this one around 15 minutes ago right and from what i understand it's actually the brake is a uh, not a mechanical brake sorry it's a motor brake it's actually uh -huh. the motor braking and of course this one also folds up you can see how simply it folds in half and then you can carry it inside you can put it beside you inside a coffee shop you could take it into the mall nobody's really going to question you carrying this around and this one is the inokim light. light and again what's the range of this how far can this take me uh, around 25 to 30 kilometers the range and the uh, maximum speed is 25 kilometers per hour. Okay. 
And I guess the range is very much dependent on your weight exactly. and how flat the ground is. Yep. If you're heavier, you're going to get less range. If you're going up steep hills, you're going to get less range. Yep. And, and this I one. And this is the big boy. What do you call this? Yeah. Inukim Quick 3. Quick 3, okay. 30 this to 40 is... kilometers, the range. Okay. And this maximum speed is around 27 to 30 kilometers. Excellent. So this is faster. It can go further. Mm -hmm. And the wheels are bigger, so you want to have a smoother ride. If you're going in and out of traffic, this is the one that you would really want. Mm -hmm. You've got a disc brake on the back. Um, down here you can see the disc brake. There's also, uh, what's something I like about this is you've got the rear brake light and the front um, headlight, right? Oh. And when you pull the brake, it actually flashes. So that's good, again, if you're going to use this on the road, people are going to know that you're braking and they're going to be able to, other road users are going to know what you're doing. So this one has a push throttle, is that right? Yeah, throttle. And then you've got a front brake, which is caliper or a V-type. Yeah. And then we said already the rear is the disc brake. Okay, can you, um, can you show us it in action? Sure. So as you can see, it's such a quick way of getting around compared to walking. It's really quite convenient. And it can go pretty fast as well, as you can see. Now, if you're wondering why we're containing ourselves to a small area, you might be able to see that it's raining a little bit outside. So that's why we kind of confined ourselves to this smaller area. So the last time that I rode a scooter was probably about 10 years ago. And that was when e-scooters were still a relatively new thing. It had a lead acid battery in it. It didn't go anywhere as fast as this. It wasn't as comfortable. It was like, you know the ones that kids use that you fold yeah. up, they don't weigh anything. It was like that, but they just strapped a small motor and a battery to it. And I got on this 15 minutes ago, right? And I had no problems. Like I haven't ridden one of these for 10 years. One of the things I was worried about is how hard would this be to ride? That was one of my concerns. A bike, everyone knows you sit on it, you go, simple. But with a scooter, I was worried maybe you need a little bit more balance, but it's actually really stable. And what you might have noticed there is that you've got a very good turning radius. Like it didn't take much space to turn around at all. Now, if you do run out of juice, you could push yourself along, right? Yeah, There's exactly. nothing wrong with pushing yourself along. Um, what did you say the range was on this? 30 to 40 kilometers. 30 to 40 kilometers. So, I mean, that's, that's more than enough range for the average person in a day. And if you want, you could always plug this in at your office anyway, right? Yeah, exactly. If you wanted to be really cheeky, you could plug it in at a coffee shop, but I don't <laughs> think they would appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> so this is the Inokim Light. And um, what's the selling price for this one? For this one? The range is 42,000 to 46,000. Okay, depending on the battery the size. Battery, yeah. For this one, you need to kick first. Okay, so you, you have to kickstart this one to help the motor get going. And again, you might notice, hopefully you see on camera there, the brake light was flashing to indicate it's braking. That is a very simple feature, but a very useful feature. Same on the front. That is something that I like about this. Um, and that you might not find on some budget scooters because it's these little touches that people don't think about the flashing headlight, the flashing brake light because on a budget model they don't want to do it because they have to do extra wiring to sense when the brake is being pulled it's these little touches that let you know you're buying a premium product in the first place, right? Um, because of course I know some people watching this are going to say there's cheaper ones out there I've seen one like in Manila it's, it's half yeah, the price exactly. what's the difference between these ones and you know if I of buy course. them number one the quality this is uh, designed in Israel, right? Yeah, the, all materials are designed and from Israel. From Israel, from Israel. but they manufacture, manufacture in China, in China now. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. But the materials and the design is from Israel. From Israel. Okay, and what's the big difference? Like, let's say I bought one of those generic, you know, made in China ones from here. Mm -hmm. What would I notice is difference, but the difference the ride, between Inokim? The sound, the ride. How about the motor? The like, motor also. It might be and the battery. Compared. They use. Uh, you can use Samsung battery. Okay, so there you go, straight away, that's a premium battery. Yeah, that's a premium. And that's more important than you might think because 
the brand of the battery or the fact that it's a good quality battery is going to tell you how long it's going to last. Exactly. Yeah. If you have to, you know, if you buy a cheap generic battery, it might only last for say one year or two years, and the capacity they might say, oh, it's twenty thousand milliamp hour. That's forty kilometers, and then you find out that actually it's just like ten or fifteen. I think that's a benefit of buying from a respected brand that you actually get what you're paying for. Of when they tell you something, said that's what you're getting. Of course. And you these want are, to try this also? Sure. And <laughs> these are hub motors. For anyone that's curious, you might have seen some e-vehicles that use like a um, like a rubber belt mm -hmm. or a chain or something like that. This is actually a hub motor. So the motor itself is built into the wheel. Brushless, yeah. So and it's brushless. Okay, brushless. perfect. So that is a big difference as well because it means maintenance isn't an issue. It's unlikely to get you know if you had a rubber belt, the belt might fall off, or if you have a chain, it might get damaged. So that is one of the nice things about having a brushless hub motor. So let's give this one a go. This is a push start, right? Yeah. And as you can see, it's super quick. I mean, actually, I think this is my favorite one because you have the speed, you have the range, mm -hmm. and it's more portable. It's super light. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I think this is my favorite, my personal <laughs> favorite. The because light one. if it's me, I'm always going to be taking this into cafes. Uh -huh. I'm going to be taking it into the mall. I'm going to be taking it everywhere. So I like the big boy. If you're, if you're combating traffic every day, the, what do you call this? The quick free? Quick three. Yeah, the quick, quick free is probably the one for you. But if you're, you know, a lighter weight user, you're just going to be, key, you know, not go too far. You're just going to go to the local mall, maybe around BGC. This is the one for me. I like it. It's, it's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit smaller. And also the paint, it's powder coated. Yeah, I mean, Unlike that is a really cheap. nice, yeah. a nice look. I do like that. So for anyone that wants to buy this, how does it work? How do they reach you? How, like, do you deliver? We have a Facebook page uh, okay. that's Street Wheels Philippines. Okay. They can check out all our products there. And they can also go straight to my shop, uh, okay. Las Piñas, BF Resort. They can see the address at the Facebook page. Okay, excellent. And you ship these inside Metro Manila, right? I also Manila, ship it right? outside Metro Manila. And we outside ship in of Cebu, Metro Manila. Bohol. Yeah, Luzon, Luzon, Mindanao. Okay, we so anywhere you are, he can Nationwide. ship these to you. And you, one of the things I was saying to him earlier is if you send it, say, Cebu or somewhere like that, it's going to be harder for them to get spare parts, replacements, etc., because they're outside in Metro Manila. Mm -hmm. But you said that you also include a spare inner tube. Is that yeah. right? So a free tube for free tube. outside Metro Manila. Outside, outside Metro Manila. Luzon. Yeah. I think that's a really mm -hmm. nice touch. Mm -hmm. A really nice touch. Although, like you said, you can actually get these vulcanized like a regular tire, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, how much does it cost for a spare replacement inner tube if you need to buy them in the future? The tube itself, the tube alone, if you're going to buy it from us, uh, it's around like. 600 to 800 pesos. Okay. Is that for a pair or is that per piece? Oh, per piece. Per piece, okay. But if you're going to buy a set with a rubber, yeah. it's around like 2,000 pesos. Okay. Yeah. And I was asking you earlier, like, what's the mileage you should expect on these tires before you have to replace them? Long time. And you said you've had your uh, quick two, right? <laughs> like Since 2009? The, the, the original one, the My Way version is still the same tire. Still the same tire. <laughs> so you're probably not looking to mm -hmm. replace them anytime soon anyway. But it's nice that if they need to buy them, you've got them. Yeah. I got everything, all the parts. Excellent. It's all available. What's the expected lifetime on the battery before you start seeing, you know, deep degradation where you have to replace it? As I've it? said, I, I still got my My Way. Yeah, it's the original still battery, running. still going. Yeah. I assume the, the range is a little bit less now. Yeah, of course. But it's, it's still... I also have my Quick 2. There, there's a my way and then quick two version and then this is the quick three i also still have my quick two and still using the same battery excellent so you actually have a chair option for this right yeah chair. i think option. that might be good for anyone who's a little bit older they might want to mm -hmm. you know sit down instead of stand so this is a pretty heavy duty clamp they're really not cutting costs here this is the real deal yeah. so this clamps onto the base is that Based, right yeah how yeah, does it clamp back. on we don't have to do it but just give me yeah. a rough idea it goes yeah. on here Okay, so that goes on there, and then the seat is going to go there. And how high can does the post go? Let's have a look, just so we can get a rough idea. Okay, and is this adjustable, the height? Yeah, or is it it's adjustable. Height? Okay, so it can probably go a little bit higher. Yeah. Okay, that's very interesting to know that the seat is an option. But that's an, uh, an extra, right? It's yeah, not extra. included. How much are you looking at if you want to add For this the seat? one, it's 5,500. Wow, okay. Just for the seat, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit pricey, I have to yeah. say. It's a little bit pricey. But it, 
the quality. Yeah, that's that's mm. why you're, it's pricey. Yeah. And I guess it's important because you wouldn't want your seat to snap off while exactly, you're yeah. riding along. Now, I know one of the things people are gonna say is, can you use them in the rain? That's the first question I get asked about every e-vehicle. Can I use it in the rain? And the answer is yes. These are completely sealed, so you have no problem, right? Mm. The only reason why we're not taking them in the rain is that I don't no. want to get wet. <laughs> it's not about getting the, the scooter wet, it's about getting me wet. And also um, don't soak it like, yeah, like on flooded areas. Don't put it, don't submerge it in water. That's, I, I mean, it seems obvious, but it is worth saying. You shouldn't put it through, you know, very flooded area. If it's just rain, it's okay, that's fine. But you know, you can see this is the charging port, right? Yeah, so port. you wouldn't want to submerge it all the way down there. It might be okay for, you know, maybe a few seconds or a minute, but if you're going to submerge this in a flooded area, it's probably going to get damaged, even the hub motor. But for just normal rain going around, you're not going to have an issue. So I'll just answer that question for anyone who's wondering. Yes, you can go out in the rain. We're just choosing not to because we don't want to get wet. So this is Grace and this is her favorite one. I assume because of the high speed and the power. Um, she is head of marketing at Street Wheels. And the reason why I asked her to ride the scooter is just to show that it's not just for guys. You know, there are many females who can happily ride these around. So you can see she's having no problem riding it. Let's just wait for her to come back. Now, of course, she's had some practice, but like I said, I went on this, you know, first time in 10 years and I had no problem riding it along at all. And you can see you've got a bell there so you can get people to move out of the way. It's really a nice way of getting around. It's lightweight. Nobody's really going to pay any attention to you because it's not bulky, so no one's going to mind if you're riding this along. For instance, there's a guard right there. He doesn't care at all. He's perfectly happy. And before I got here, you were actually riding these around, right? And nobody minds. Because they're so lightweight, they really don't draw any attention. So yeah, I am a big fan of these little e-scooters. So you asked for it and I delivered. You asked for more personal transport options and this is a more affordable one compared to the Stego. The Stego is good, but it's a little bit pricier. So these are also, the thing is, these are also premium products, but the price is a little bit less, right? So Grace, head of marketing, um, what do people do if they, wanna, if they wanna buy these? Yeah, you can check out our Facebook account. We have updates and of course we have features all the local users of Inukim here in the Philippines. So check out Street Wheels Philippines and also we're on in, um, Instagram, Twitter and also you can check out Inukim Philippines. That's where all the latest product of Street Wheels um, featured and also you can see all the latest upgrades and um, the, your pictures, you can post it also there, your owner of Indo Kim. Excellent, because I've seen um, some of your customers have already posted pictures and videos of this yeah. out and about, weaving through the traffic, having a good time. So yeah, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you, Jay. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have subscribe. any questions, put them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. Thank you.